Good morning, Viberg Hurley School District. This is Mr. Mellum with another edition of Wacky Wednesday here at Viberg Hurley. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, if you are wondering. So good morning. I hope everybody had a great day yesterday. Um, obviously, the weather was fantastic. I hope you got outside and enjoyed those 70-plus degree day weather out there. The sun was shining. It was nice. Hopefully, you got to run around and burn off a little energy. Uh, today, a couple announcements as we start today. First of all, the uh, Viberg Hurley Boys basketball gear is in, and if you ordered any of the state t-shirts or apparel, they're available for pickup at the Viberg building from 5 to 7 tonight, or you can contact Coach Corey Jacobson and his number is available on Facebook or the webpage. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, a couple other recognitions we need to throw out there today. First of all, big shout out to Senior Cassidy Seiler, who was recently recognized as the Touchstone Energy Scholar of the Week. So Cassidy was featured on Dakota News Now, and that was broadcast Monday evening and Tuesday morning of this week. So congratulations, Cassidy. That is a recognition well-deserved. Uh, well, we've got two boys basketball players who were recently selected in making the Class B boys All-State team. Uh, the third team selections were forward six foot four Grady Sherman and guard six foot four Chase Mason. Congratulations, fellas, on the great recognition there. Uh, what all we got today? What is today? Let's see. Um, oh no, we're gonna change from the national days to the national week of the of the month. Let's see what we have going on. Oh, it's actually National Wildlife Week this week. So that's kind of cool. Uh, International Pooper Scooper Week. I didn't know that was such a thing, but I guess it is. Uh, National Public Health Week and National Window Safety Week. So those are your days slash weeks of the year for April and the first week. Uh, birthdays. You know, we do not have any birthdays again. Uh, which is crazy to think we're a, a district with all these kids and teachers and staff and we just don't have any birthdays today. But I guarantee we have some tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So I'll update you on all those tomorrow. So you may be asking yourself, why the chicken costume, Mr. Mullen? Why are we dressed like a chicken today? Well, great question. Um, I am going to hopefully explain to you a little bit about maybe where that thing called the Easter egg comes from. Okay, uh, You may be wondering, how does an Easter bunny and an egg go together, right? Because normally we associate eggs with chickens. Well, the Easter egg has many different backgrounds and ties, and there's many stories surrounding it. You may color some around Easter time with your family. Um, this one's, I don't know, this kind of looks orange or brown. I don't, let me, let me see what else I got. Oh, we got this nice green and yellow one here too. Um, you know, there's different traditions every family has, but where, do, where did it start? Well, there's a couple background stories that I was going to share with you quickly today. First, one has religious ties. Uh, back to the early centuries where eggs were used as a symbol to represent new life. So there was a big backing of the religious side of this story. And a lot of it was tied to religion and nature and the start of spring. And again, symbolizing new life or a new beginning. The other one, which is probably another well-known one, is the Dutch tale of the oster hare, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which is a rabbit who would lay eggs in the grass. Okay, So children, way back when, would decorate nests and wait to see if the nests were filled on Easter by the oster hare. Osterhaus, sorry. Um, the tradition actually became popular in America when Dutch and German settlers arrived in Pennsylvania in the 1700s. So we ha all have our own traditions about Easter eggs. Uh, what we do with them. You know, in our family, we end up dyeing these great little morsels. We dye the eggs. Obviously, you hard boil them first because if you don't, it, things get messy. And then the Easter Bunny must break into our house. I don't know. Or actually, we just leave them outside and then the Easter Bunny gets them. And the Easter Bunny hides them and then the kids go find them. And it's quite fun to find the eggs and see who can find the most or see who can find the one that they dyed or drew little designs on. Uh, after that's done, Yours truly, this guy, eats the eggs uh, because they're pretty tasty. But I had one note. Make sure that you don't leave these things out on the, the counter or the table for a couple days or a week and then try to eat them because, boy, oh, boy, they get pretty nasty, let me tell you. So those are my 
little tidbits about the Easter egg today. I hope that helps cl clarify some things for you. Again, you can dye them, you can hide them, you can eat them. So I hope you enjoy Easter um, coming up. And with that, that's all from Mr. Cluckster today. Uh, it's time for me to fly the coop. I hope you have an exciting day today. And keep working hard, and we will catch you tomorrow. See you later.